mutations, introduce new alleles in populations, and the evolutionary forces, mainly selection and genetic drift, determine the fate of these mutations. Kimura's neutral theory of evolution describes that effectively neutral mutations that become fixed in populations by genetic drift overwhelmingly outnumber beneficial mutations that become fixed by natural selection. In other words, genetic drift, not natural selection, is the mechanism responsible for most molecular evolution. With respect to effect on fitness, there are three kinds of mutations. Some mutations are harmful, some are beneficial, and some are neutral. Mutations that do not affect fitness do not affect individual survival and reproduction are neutral mutations. Harmful mutations tend to be eliminated by natural selection and thus contribute little to molecular evolution. Beneficial mutations are often lost to the rift while still at low frequency or tend to rise to fixation as a result of very large selective advantage. However, neutral mutations fluctuate in frequency as a result of genetic drift. Many are lost, but some become fixed. So, at the DNA level, variation can exist that has no effect on protein sequences because multiple codons encode the same amino acid and therefore neutral alleles do exist. For this simulation, we have 50 subpopulations, each of them will mating for 500 generations. Let's consider 100 individuals, 50 males and 50 females in each subpopulation. Here we deal with a simplified situation. We have a locus with two alleles. We assume that all individuals are homozygous. However, in the base generation, several mutants have appeared. Selection does not operate and all genotypes have the same chance to contribute to the next generation. So their fate is left to chance and their frequencies increase or decrease fortuitously as time goes on. Let's rerun the simulation several times. As the results show, the majority of mutant alleles are lost by chance within a small number of generations. Now let's change the population size to 20 individuals and run the simulation. In each generation, every individual produces many gametes. However, only a fraction of the gametes that are produced will succeed in the formation of next generation. Thus, in each generation, allelic frequencies may change simply as a consequence of this random process of gamete sampling. As the results show, Again, the majority of mutant alleles are lost by chance within a small number of generations. However, in some subpopulations, the frequency of mutant allele increased, spread in the subpopulation, and finally reached the state of fixation. This happens because of the finite size of the subpopulations. As we saw in the previous lectures, genetic drift has a greater effect in small populations. As a final note, the neutral theory of molecular evolution is extremely useful and serves as a null hypothesis that allows researchers to identify examples of positive selection on nucleotide sequences. That brings us to the end of this video. 
I'm Muhammad Sahib Honar. I really appreciate your feedback and once again thank you for watching.